Présente une fille qui vient de la Bulgarie. Elle a 16 ans, elle est très créative. Euh, elle a eu une médaille FI, une compétition de mathématiques, une autre médaille FI Expo Science. Avar Hulibia, Valeria Staneva. My first story, it is about change. Let me ask some questions. Have you ever lost your sock? I believe my washing machine needs my socks, literally, one by one. So that's a great change, isn't it? One day you have a pair of socks and the other you're left with only one sock. And have your headphones ever been tangled like this? I believe so. Well, that's a change again, right? And have you ever been in love? That's one of the most significant changes we face in our lives. I mean, one day you're as light as a feather and the other you're as heavy as a stone. It's easy to see why change is everywhere in our lives, because life is full of oppositions. Black versus white, poor versus rich, good versus evil. And you know, I have a friend that we don't talk much, but when we do, we often discuss a philosophical question. And one day the question was, what is the only inevitable thing in life? We were absolutely convinced there is only one such thing, but which one? It could be love, or curiosity, or feelings. It could be instinct, or the will to live. So we talked and talked and talked, and stopped at death as the only inevitable thing. Creep, isn't it? But a few weeks later, I thought a bit about it, and realized it was not death. It was change in all its forms. So, um, change is the only inevitable thing in life. In fact, life means constant and inevitable change. Change equals life. Life equals change. And if you're not growing or changing in any other way, you're not alive. And if your lungs don't change the amount of air in them every single moment, you're definitely dead, right? So there is another amazing thing about people. We all love life. We all want to live better, to live longer, to sleep more, to eat tastier food, to travel more. And so we naturally want to believe that change is happiness. But guess what? It is not always happiness. I believe it is like that. We should choose the change we want, because otherwise it will choose us. No matter what, it is inevitable, right? So, um, so it will happen. And the only thing we can do is to choose it wisely. My second story, it is about support. You know, I'm involved in science, and that particular science I'm interested in is bioinformatics. It is really important science, because it solves a difficult opposition, diseases versus cures, so that every single improvement in bioinformatics today will help people have better cures in tomorrow. Um, so, Well, I, that sounds astonishing, I know, but um, I want to tell you about my work. Last year, I worked on a very interesting problem. It was called the gene prediction problem. I know it sounds like time prediction, but it is even tougher. That is, to find that exact gene in your DNA that has some exact work, like causing the Parkinson's disease. So, the system that predict genes nowadays are as accurate but slow, or fast but inaccurate. And the real goal was to find a way to predict genes fast and accurate in the same time. And um, it got pretty amazing indeed. It turned, out, it turned out that scientists can use a simple data compression algorithm, such as the one you use to compress all your pictures and send them to your friends so that gene prediction could be fast, accurate, and cheap at the same time. And I believe that this passion of mine, bioinformatics, will really help people live better in the future. But, you know, when they told me to come here and speak here today, they told me something like, tell us about your experience and how does your educational system help you? 
And I was like, wait, what? Because I'm not going to lie to you, Bulgaria is not a rich country. So if you measure that help in money, it gets we're not helped in any way. But there is more than money. You can't believe how many people in Bulgaria support me. People from the government, from different organizations, people that have been my lecturer, lecturers ah, at science camps, and of course my teachers. And my teachers have taught me not only how to, how, how to solve equations, for example, but also about the important things in life. How to be passionate, how not to give up, how to give my best every single day and many other interesting and important things I, we just don't learn at school. But my teachers gave me that knowledge. But I want to tell you about my very first student science conference. It was in 2010, I was 14, and the girl I worked with, a close friend of mine, was two years older. In fact, at that conference, everyone was older than me. And in Bulgaria, it's like that. The day before you present, you get a review of your work. It is written by that guy from the jury who is familiar with it. So we got our reviews and started reading it. And you can't imagine how shocked I was when I saw something like, well, I don't believe she has any contribution to this study because of her early age. Early age? I mean, uh, every single person at that conference was obviously older than me. But still, I had been working for this five months. Five months of no cinema, no going out with friends, no parties, only bioinformatics and work. And um, I was about to cry, and you can't believe, I, uh, I mean, believe me, I couldn't sleep that night. And guess what? The other day we had to present. So we went to the stage, and suddenly everyone was listening. Everyone tried to understand our idea, they asked a lot of questions. So, um, they asked a lot of questions, and Later, it turned out that when we got out of the stage, it was over the presentation, a lot of people came to us smiling. They said, you were amazing, and we're, happy, we're so happy for you having such a good project. And it was one of the happiest moments in my life. But, since, but then I learned a very important lesson as well. Since then, I do not omit people that support me. Because when it is about support, you can choose whether or not to be thankful for it. But if you are thankful, that support grows. So here in Bulgaria, okay, not here, but, but in Bulgaria, at least in my field of work, uh, support is not only about money. It is more about meeting interesting people that, that inspire you, that are your guiding light, and that you just ask yourself, why do they care? But they still do. And it's their support you need in tough moments. So, my third story, it is about sharing ideas. Have you ever thought about this amazing number, 2.73? I hope not. So, please imagine a town with 1,000 people. A town with 1,000 young people. It doesn't matter if it is in Tunisia or in Bulgaria or anywhere in the world just a small town with only 1,000 people in it. So imagine that every single person from that town has only one good idea for the whole 2012. You see, it's rather difficult to have one good idea, right? But let's assume the worst case scenario. Even if one has several good ideas, he shares only one with the town. So let's do the math. The town has 1,000 good ideas for the 366 days of 2012, right? And that is exactly 2.73 good ideas every single day. Just imagine how great positive change could be made with only one good idea. And now imagine that every day the town improves for these exactly 2.73 ideas. It's great, isn't it? But it gets even better. Well, um, you see, if you live in the town and you uh, share only one good idea with it, the community provides you with a thousand positive changes for the whole year, for the town and for you. So that you should only share one idea and you'll see the rapid improvement. 
And um, I believe that sharing ideas is what makes the progress happen. That makes sense, right? So, I, so, I, oh, okay. As at this exact moment, we're about 7 billion people on this planet. I believe you should see it now. It should be working everywhere. And I really hope that we can see that all of us have the power to change the world, the world and to change it in a way that we can choose. And I believe that we will do well by sharing our ideas and supporting one another because we all love life. Thank you very much.